And candidate Ron Paul has been running a strong campaign here in Iowa. It seems wherever he goes, he gets the rock star treatment. So early show contributor Taryn Winterbrill spent some time on the campaign trail with Congressman Paul. Taryn, good morning. Good morning, Nora. He might be the oldest of the Republican candidates, Ron Paul, that is, but he seems to be attracting the youngest voters. With all this youthful buzz around him, I'm pretty certain that he has some pretty good momentum and feeling good about tonight's race. Buoyed by strong poll numbers and growing crowds. It does look like there are more cameras than there used to be. <laughs> Ron Paul is a bona fide hit in Iowa. Iowa is ready for Ron Paul. What's up with these sorry politicians? Some might say that Paul has bet the farm on the Hawkeye State, spending $1.3 million on ads here. But it's his boots on the ground organization that's reaching the masses. And the 76 year old Texas congressman has been especially appealing to younger voters. Everything the man says is just absolutely wonderful. I feel like he has a fantastic plan to help the country out and to help my generation. Ron Paul. What do you think it is that you're saying that resonates with younger voters so much? Young ideas. Freedom is a young idea. Paul says a win in Iowa would do wonders for his national campaign. The media will cover me. <laughs> you know, they will get a lot more attention. There'll be a lot more momentum. Political scientist Art Sanders isn't so sure. When you move outside of economics, you know, Ron Paul believes that um, drugs should be legalized. He believes that whether or not people get married should be a private decision. The state should stay out of it. Ron Paul has all kinds of positions that are never going to be attractive to Republicans. Stop the inflation. Stop the debt. Still, what ails Iowa caucus goers is the economy. A shared sentiment among voters nationwide. Given the nature of the economy and especially the belief among uh, Republicans that the problem is too much government spending, his long term commitment to cutting that spending in drastic kind of ways makes him look attractive. But I would support anything that would rein in the IRS and reduce your taxes. Those are the two things that they have to do. And later this morning, Dr. Paul will attend a high school student assembly where he'll address 800 caucus eligible juniors and seniors. So he's certainly beefing up his effort to target the youth vote in, in hopes that they come out in huge numbers tonight. Guys.